Hi, Leo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez, and I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you for sharing time and space with me. Today, we're going to be focusing on what does your person regret most, and I want to um, remind you all to like and comment. It does help me out. So let's get started. Um, we're going to look at what this person's current energy is in, and then we'll take it from there. So can you tell me, um, Kuan Yin, St. Germain, and Metatron, um, what, is this per what is Leo's person's current energy in? What are they currently doing with their life? Let's see what's going on there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. This sounds strange. Um, I see this person standing in uh, like something. I don't know, but it's like their, their head. It's hitting the the top of whatever this is, right? Um, and it's a safety. Oh, I, I, okay. He's he's like he's showing me my cat now. You know, cats like they they hide underneath a bed. <laughs> They're scared. <laughs> it is what it is. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Where they hide underneath the bed, like ooh. -hoo. I mean, they wait till it's it's all clear to come out. Yeah, this person's stuck in a state of fear. Um, they're really scared. Um, they're really, really, really. Mm, I don't know what the word is. Um. <sighs> they're really stuck right now in life. Um, and I, I feel for some of you, this person could be with someone or there can be, they can, their life is just stuck in general, but there's this stuck feeling that's coming through. But where they are is they're staying there because they're scared. Even though it's stuck, even though they are stuck, even though it sucks, right? Um, they are still staying there because, well, I feel safe here. It's my safety zone. It's like that. It's, sorry. And again, he's showing me a cat underneath the bed. You know, anyone who has a cat, you understand um, what that's like, right? The kitty's always going underneath the bed. You can just walk by them and they just go right on there because they're looking for that safety. Um, that's that's what's happening currently with themselves. Let's see. What else is happening? What other what energy is this person currently in? They beat themselves up a lot, by the way. That's an interesting one. Um, they just do that on a regular basis. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I don't know how they present in the physical world, but I feel they present as someone who is strong. They present as someone who is capable. They present as someone who is who has a good head on their shoulders. Um, they may have leadership qualities, right? Um, uh, you know what I mean? They, they present like that, but they don't actually have that. So whatever, it's like who they are, what they do, how they respond to life and situations is not who they want to be. So their actual responses are underneath or no, they don't meet their expectations or what they desire for themselves. Like I want to be the strong, charismatic, um, authoritative person. I don't know. Right. Um, leader CP kind of person. But when it comes down to it, I'm just like some kind of beta person. Right. You know what I mean? And this is someone where they cannot stand themselves. They cannot stand that they aren't that, even though they really do desire to be that. And they hunger for that. But when sometimes they are that, by the way, but when life gets tough, they're not. Um, it's and that's actually when it matters the most. And I know that, you know, it's easy to be. I don't know, happy or optimistic when life is going great, but can you be optimistic when life is not going great? Now that's true optimism, right? You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. This person, they just, they don't have the true, they don't have the true essence of leadership yet. They don't have the true essence of, of strength yet. They don't have it, but they really desire it. Um, and their life is stuck as a result of that. They cannot fathom as well. Why are there choices like that? Why do I do this? Why don't I take control of my life? And it's like, because if I'm, if I'm really someone who is strong, then I would take control of my life, but I'm not. So what does that mean? And there, there is a bitterness about, about that truth right there. And it's such truth that they don't want to accept. And in fact, I feel like this person has been really reluctant to accept that, that truth, even though um, it, it, they've, it's been proven time and time again. But something's happened that made them, it's like, it's like when you force feed someone, you know what I mean? Like you just, you got to take this truth kind of thing. So that's what they're saying. That this has happened. How? How, Metatron? How did this happen for Leo's person? All right. It was a series of events is what he's saying. Um, it was a, a repetitious events, but there is a, a specific one um, where they failed and they utterly failed and they just cannot believe themselves. So let's see what what event is this? It's sorry. He's not giving it. 
he's not giving the the thing. I I tried. I pulled this. I was pulling it earlier, right? When I asked the question, but he he gave. Oh, it's a series of events. So management saying there's a, there is a specific one where it's. You know, um, I'm seeing this person like carrying on all this baggage and it's just carrying it like going, oh, kind of thing. And something, one more thing happened and it laid on them and they, they just collapsed. So it was a, um, a series of events of things that they were carrying that made them face the reality that they're not as strong as they would pretend to be or hope that they were. They thought maybe I'm having a bad day. They All these excuses I feel this person would use, but they've now realized, oh, um, I, I don't, maybe I'm just a beta. I don't know. It just, it's like, I don't know what truth this person came to. Um, but it's like, sure, maybe you are a beta, but if you don't want to be that and you have the free will to be something else. Right. And that's the point. But this person I feel is, is in that, um, well, maybe I'm just this now, <laughs> you know, instead of them accepting, okay, I, I am this, right? But I don't want to be this. Let me be something else, right? And then they can go through that change. But it, this is someone where I feel they're kind of currently accepting defeat. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. It's like they're accepting defeat right now. Um anyway, let's see what how does how does this person feel about Leo? How does this person feel about Leo? So again, I'm seeing them in that little like I don't know, cave type thing, and I see you walking away. And they see you and they're like, oh, away from me. Um, they feel like you're leaving them behind. They feel like you're you're just moving on, you're letting go, you're making something of yourself, right? Very strongly, by the way. There's a strong emphasis on that. Where it's like you and it's interesting. Um, it's like I, I'm seeing one of these Oracle cards that I used to use. I was I think it was quantum oracle i don't know i forgot what it was but it, the card was called loss where it's like you're seeing this boat like float away and there's someone like you know on the beach where it's like i could swim after it right and um, this person's like i could go after leo but i'm too scared to i'm a beta who I, I didn't think i was my whole life but it turns out i'm a beta um and this is someone who's still accepting that but they do want to chase after you, I suppose. I mean, you may feel that intuitively, like they do desire to chase after you. But what's holding this person back is their is is this acceptance. Their entire life, they were fighting against the fact that they were a beta um, or someone who's not strong and go getter type, right? Um, they were they were constantly trying to prove themselves wrong, right? Um, and it's it's like they finally accepted that truth, but it's not where you stay. You don't stay in something horrible, right? You're supposed to move, move beyond that, and they haven't. So this person is in struggle city. So let's see, how else does this person feel about um, Leo? If you loved them, you would stay. That sounds strange to say, but that's what I have. Um, he, they, this person feels like if you actually loved them, if you actually cared for them, you would understand and you would stay. Um, I don't know what that means, but there's coming through with. Um, it's very, very, oh, by the way, there's an extended to this reading. Oh, I keep forgetting to say an extended, by the way. Um, if you want to check out the extended, you can check it out in the comment or description section. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, I keep forgetting. Um, but let's see. Metatron, Metatron, Metatron. What does this person feel about Leo? Um, there's, they're bitter a little bit. Yeah, they're a little bit bitter here. They, I, I don't know how much you've helped this person. I know it sounds like it's a strange thing to say, um, but they see you as a great, great source of help, um, by the way. And they really, really, really liked it. Um, they feel like you two can really tackle things together really easily. Um, they love your mind. They love how you think. They love how you see. You see situations in a slightly different, no, not a different way. Um, you see things that they can't see about situations really easily. And it's like your truth and their truth come together, and it's like you you form your you you just make I don't know it's like you you make a good team. Does it make sense? Yeah, it is what it is. That's what I see as you make a really good team. That's what they see it, um, and they really 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 uh, feel this with you. Um, but with that, but with you being able to see things in a different way than they can, it helps them. Um, and it's you've helped, you've been a, a really healing presence for this person, by the way. And that's really coming through really strongly. It's like you've you've helped them um, release a lot of stuff that they were struggling to release. However, um, this person hasn't released that 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 fear, right? About about it's like it's like they're. 
they have these expectations about who they should be and, and, and if they were that person, what they would do with that. Right. And they, it's like, they're, it's not translating. So this person's they're stuck a little bit with that. I think they're feeling sorry for themselves as well. It, it, it does feel like that. It's just, it, cause it keeps roping me back into that energy again, where it's like, I can't believe I I'm not doing something. I can't believe that I, um, I'm not able to take control of my life. I can't believe I'm not able to go after what I want, right? That's it. It's like it's you or what they want, but they can't go after you because they're not strong. So you have someone here who struggle city, um, and they're trying. Um, let's see. Is there any other feelings that they have towards um, Leo? Hmm, this is interesting. Um, I don't know how much you've done this. Your words are quite cutting to this person. I don't know what you've said, but they feel like you beat them up. It is what it is. Um, they feel like you've beat them up a little bit. Um, what you said, um, uh, they are quite sensitive, even though I think they uh, physically, literally appear like they're not sensitive. I don't know. It, it just, if it, it just, they're some management keeps making this distinction about how they present versus who they are. They're not the same. It, it, they look like they are this, but they're not that. So it's really clear. This person's actually quite sensitive. And whatever words you've used were quite cutting. And they feel like you've kind of beat them up a little bit. And it's interesting. Um, I, the, at first, they felt really triggered by that. But you've kind of whooped them into shape. Does that make sense? Um, it is what we got. It's like, so you've... Your words, it, it was kind of like, um, I don't know, maybe you tell them stop feeling sorry for yourself. There's just something like that where you just, it was, a, it just feels like these are just like little things that you said and it would just, um, they get triggered at first and then you're like, you're right, right? You know what I mean? Um, they definitely really, really admired and valued your opinion. And again, it's your perspective, the way you said things, the way you looked at things, um, and how you work together. It's really, they love this. It was like their favorite thing, um, if the if the rest of the world didn't exist, it would be so simple to be together. Is what this is what they're saying to me. Um, uh, this person's energy is like if the rest of the world didn't exist, if the, if if all we had to think about was was what we we're feeling in this present moment, it will be Leo. That's what this person is saying, always. But there's other factors. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, but there's other factors or other things that this person has to think about. Oh, so crazy. Um, let's see. Let's see. So can we take a look here and see what this person regrets most towards Leo and about Leo? This person, um, this person really shut down. That's one of their biggest regrets is to shut down. Oh, it's linking back to what we brought up already about this person's, um, what, what is it? Uh, this person's inability to be what they thought they were, right? So when things got tough between you and them, when you've kind of hit a rough patch, yeah, they shut down. Yeah, and they couldn't, f they didn't have the strength to be stronger to overcome what they what was forcing them to shut down. So their, their biggest regrets is to allow themselves to shut down. And it feels like when your connection was in those rough patches, you would have gotten no help from them because they couldn't. They just, they, they physically, literally couldn't do any more. And even though you may think they could have, energetically, they were just stunted and blocked. And um, they, they were, there, there was an incapacity here, basically. So their biggest regret is, is to have that, is to let that happen. Um, what other regrets do they have towards Leo? They really wish that they had spoke their mind. This is a combination message. Um, uh, some of it, sorry, I like a cramp there or something like that. Um, uh, so, some of it has to do with them telling you how they felt. That's what, actually what I got as your very first message when they shut down. But the other one was they, a lot of, uh, a lot of them wish that they had told you, um, it's like, you know, when you tell, you go off on someone, you know what I'm talking about? Um, they really wish they had done that. And, I, I don't know why exactly. Let me see if they give it to me. But um, th that they really wish they had went off on you when they had a chance. Um, I think that more would have come out, even though it would have came out with anger. They would have probably spoke more truth because that's what they wish they had done in the first place, right? It's to tell you the truth. However, I, I feel like a, some, a lot of them are a little bit bitter over how things ended between you and them, and they really wish that they had told you what was on their mind. I feel... 
they shut down in all respects. It wasn't just the good feelings and stuff like that. I think they just shut down, shut down, shut down. Um, this person is just very much like that. Let me see. Is there any? Is there anything else that you want to give me on that Metatron? He says no. It was just that they they shut down. They wish you hadn't, but it was a combination. They wish I told you how they felt, and then told you how they felt about well when they were angry too. So it is a combination. Very interesting. Is there any other regrets that this person has towards Leo? I don't know if they picked a fight with you. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Um, picking fights with you, uh, nit nitpicking or something. No. Oh. I think it's like it's one of those. It's not. He's saying it's not that that that, but it's something some kind of variation of that where they've they they try to be petty. They try to um, maybe start a fight with you, or get you to start a fight with them, or get a response from you. I know it sounds strange, but that's what's what I'm getting. It's it's like they were trying to make you prove you cared for them because. They didn't believe it. So they were trying to do, they're, they're trying to, I don't know. I know it sounds, it's, it's, it sounds, it's just, whatever, it is what it is. They, they, they regret doing this. They regret being petty. They regret picking fights with you. They regret um, maybe backhanded comments or um, trying to make you jealous. I don't know. It's, they regret something. There's some kind of action. He's saying it's not any one of those things. It's maybe, maybe a few of them, right, or something else, but it's something like that. Um, they really, really, really regret um, doing that, and it created a lot of instability in your connection. They didn't see how that was affecting things as well. Does that make sense? Um, it, it, it's for the first time may, you may have forgiven them, but eventually you were not going to be forgiving. You know what I mean? Like it was this person didn't see or uh, they weren't connecting the dots between what they were doing and how that was going to translate to the future of your connection because then it actually created um, – it actually created an ending, I feel, for a lot of you as well because of what they were doing. So there, there was this lack of connection between what they were currently doing in the present moment and how that would play out into the future because it, how it played out was an ending, basically. And this person didn't see it. And they regret not seeing that. They regret doing these things in the present moment because there were just these knee-jerk knee reactions and never really taking into consideration how you felt about things but also how it would play out. And I feel like this person regrets and like causing the ending of your connection as well. Um, it's, it's really is where it feels like they regret causing that ending. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to switch this over to the extended. If you want to check out the extended, you can catch it in the comment or description section. Leo, please don't forget to like and comment um, and subscribe and check out my services as well and take care. Bye, Leo.